This room is so hard to film in, honestly. This lighting is just, it looks so bad. Okay, hey guys, what's up? It's Emily, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, I put out new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I make a lot of book content, which is probably why you're here today, but I make also some more lifestyle content and travel content occasionally when I travel places. I live in Brooklyn, I'm an actor, I'm a singer, I'm a business owner, I work from home, and so I read a lot. And recently I have just bought a lot of new books. I made a bookshelf reorganization video a few months ago when I got this new bookshelf over here because I was able to make more space on this bigger bookshelf, which my great grandpa actually made from scratch, which is awesome. I love this bookshelf so much but yeah since then i've just gotten a lot of new books specifically like from book of the month and then i also went book shopping on my birthday in march and i got a lot of books it is kind of overflowing i've had to move some stuff up to the top with my records and um also jean luc's journals have moved up there as well so um i do plan on keeping some books up there with my records but i definitely want it to look nicer and i want to be intentional with which books i move up there because they're just like a little bit more on display. I guess we also recently got this office storage organization unit. It really is just kind of like a wine cabinet, but it looks so chic and I actually made a video like unboxing it and building it and organizing it so I can like put that wherever it is up there. But we still have a little space in there and what I love about it is that it closes so you can't like see what's inside of it. So I have some like loose like scripts and like sketchbooks and stuff that just don't really look good more on display on this bookshelf than i'm going to try to move there so maybe i can like move john luke's journals into that section i'm not really sure yet i do know that this whole section here this first shelf it's all like drama and theater books and i really love the way that it's organized and i haven't really gotten any new books or plays in that category since the last time I organized my bookshelf, so it's really like pretty much laid out exactly how I want. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna organize the rest of these books, but I know I'm not gonna do it by color. I just feel like when your whole bookshelf is organized by color, I don't know, it just gives off like psycho vibes to me. Like no, if, if you have your bookshelf organized by color, like I hope you don't take offense to that. <laughs> In all seriousness though, organizing bookshelves by color, I just feel like it's not functional at all. I feel like it's hard to find things because sometimes like the spine is different than the color of the book and it's just like genre is the way to go for me like genre slash author or whatever. I also am not going to really touch this like area with books on acting, books on theater, also my nonfiction. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with that. <sighs> Even if I do move the location of it, the way it's organized probably isn't gonna change. My new bookshelf doesn't have much on it. It just mainly has biographies, which are gonna stay exactly where they are. I don't wanna touch them. I think it looks great. And I have some like coffee table books and stuff. So I don't know, I might be able to move some stuff over there. I'm not sure, but the main things that I'm gonna take off the bookshelf today are fiction books like thrillers, romances, classics, all of that. I just have a hard time figuring out exactly how to organize my fiction. It's like, I know, I, as I said, I don't wanna do it by color, but I'm also just like, there's some books by genre that fall into more than one category. It's like Gone with the Wind, that's a romance, but it's also a classic. It's also historical fiction. Then you have like some Colleen Hoover books are romance, but they're also like family drama. And they're also, it, yeah, it's just organizing fiction is like so confusing to me. So that's kind of what I'm gonna focus on today. I could keep talking about it or I can just do it. So I guess I should just, I should just get to it. So I guess the first step is to take off everything that I know I need to reorganize and then organize it <laughs> and then put it back. <laughs> okay, this is like, this makes sense so far. Like these are all hardcover thrillers. So work. <laughs> like these are all hardcover fiction, but they're all like completely different. These are basically just all hardcover non-thriller fiction. So it's like, could be anything. I like the way all of my book of the month books look put together, which is something that I, I struggle with because they're not all the same genre. I kind of like how this is too. So like certain things I am just going to kind of leave put together because I did do the work to organize a lot of this before. So I don't want to totally like just start from scratch. Oh my God. I guess this is romance. 
I'm I'm already regretting this, honestly. My very small fantasy section. And then we have some paperback thrillers plus Gone with the Wind. I'm just gonna try some stuff and kind of see what happens. Here's what I'm thinking. It's like, I do enjoy the way these books are organized right now, but I also know that they're not like totally organized by genre. And so I'm kind of trying to decide whether I want to just completely like reorganize them or like, I have three Colleen Hoover books on this stack, which is kind of like my summer like romance rom-com stack but then i also have like regretting you here in this more like dramatic stack and then i have it ends with us in this hardcover stack and i do think i should put all of my colleen hoover books together like i really do think that that makes sense to me <sighs> also just want to like show you what it looks like here so it's i mean we have some like vaguely organized stacks which is not bad but it's still a little overwhelming so yeah i'm gonna do romance first so we have <laughs> dear john People we meet on vacation, love in other words. This is like my number one book of like books everyone loves but I didn't love. The last song, Where the Crawdads Sing, Me Before You, The Time Traveler's Wife, 28 Summers, Every Summer After, The Unhoneymooners. So these are all definitely romance. This is not romance, this is not romance, this is not romance, this is not romance. It's love hypothesis, romance. The Bodyguard. The romance. I'm feeling actually good about what I'm doing right now, I think. I think I just like didn't really have stuff. I'm, I'm starting to, <laughs> I'm starting to understand the genre. Um, the best of me is a romance. Little One Women is a classic. Um, those are thrillers. Okay, I don't really have that many romances. I've also read a lot of romances on my Kindle, but this is my romance stack. My next one is thrillers. This one is really easy for me because I've already really kind of, this is the only genre that I've organized. So I have my soft covers and my hard covers over here. Just to read them off to you, I have The Silent Patient, The Hunting Party, The Wife Between Us, Girl A, The Last Mrs. Parish, Who is Maud Dixon, Rock, Paper, Scissors, The Luckiest Girl Alive, those are all my soft covers. And then my hardcover thrillers, The Paris Apartment, which I did not like, You're Invited, Daisy Darker, Reckless Girls, I have some questions for you. I hated this book, it was so boring. All the Dangerous Things, The House Across the Lake, which is really the only one I haven't read yet, and A Flicker in the Dark. All the other ones, like, I, I really love thrillers. Thriller is, like, kind of my genre, so cool. Now, is Conversations with Friends a romance? I don't think so. Okay, now I think let's do, I have no, see, now, now, like, these books, okay, so I have my, my fantasy my very small fantasy stack here i guess okay next i can do classics is that i understand i understand what a classic is so we have gone with the wind little women great gatsby the color purple i think that might be it oh it's like slaughterhouse five considered a classic yeah yeah we'll call that a classic just because i don't really have a lot of classics okay 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 Okay, what I'm getting here from the rest of these books is like young fiction, like like kind of more like easy read fiction, such as The Comeback, Carrie Soto is back, Hotel Nantucket, that kind of thing. And then I have like more sophistic sophisticated or like more just like real like adult fiction, like a little life. Even like Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister and Wicked, like Joan Didion. And so I think what I want to do is like put the more kind of serious, more like adult fiction with the classics and then have kind of this like younger, some of it's like, like hardcore YA, but some of it is just like lighter fiction, I guess, but still kind of dramatic. Okay, so we have A Little Life, Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, um, I think Finding Dorothy goes in this category. Evicted, Morris, Wicked, and A Secret History. Wicked and Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, I want to put together. Yes, Wicked is what the musical is based off of. Apparently the book is a lot darker. I've tried to read it many times and I just like haven't yet, but I do. I want to read this before the movie comes out. And then Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister is kind of like the same vibe. I heard this book is a lot better than this book. Villain origin stories, you know, which, which I love. Oh, To Kill a Mockingbird. 
classic. Three Women and The Wild Game. These two are kind of nonfiction, but kind of fiction. But I think I'm gonna still kind of put them in this more like adult fiction category. I see The Alchemist here. I feel like this should probably go in classics, if I'm not absolutely mistaken. Like 19, it's probably, it's not like, it's not a classic, 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 but I'm still gonna put it with the classics. A Play As It Lays, this is, so gonna put that in this category as well. This I'm on the fence about when we lost our heads. It's like historical fiction. I do feel like it's more, it's a little bit geared towards younger, so I'm gonna not put it in this category. Sharp Objects, I feel like I could put here. Right? The Lehman Trilogy, I can definitely put in this category. An Autobiography of Vincent Van Gogh, Dear Theo. This needs to go in the biography section. What is this? The Unbearable Lightness of Being. This is a pretty serious book here. Yeah, I'll put that in this pile as well. Um, okay, this is actually shaping out to be, to make a lot of sense to me now. I have this kind of like, more serious stack of fiction books that aren't exactly geared towards like a young young audience which i'll probably put near classics and then we have the fiction that is you know we get like our book of the month books here we get our like kind of like new trending fiction vibes so i have touch which i discovered off of bellatrice which is emma roberts book club same with when we lost our heads mame which i just read five star read Obsessed. The Magnolia Palace, I've not read this yet. Olga Dies Dreaming, also haven't read this yet. Oh, Darling Girl is actually a fantasy book. I really didn't like this book. Queen of Thieves, I feel like historical adventure. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it in this. It probably could border thriller, but I don't know. Daisy Jones and the Six and Carrie Soto is back. Same author, put those together. And then, okay, this is where like stuff like this, the Hotel Nantucket is not necessarily a romance but I feel like I should put it with my other Eileen Hildebrand book, which is in the romance section. So the, this is the kind of stuff that really trips me up. So I think I'm actually just gonna put, I think some something romantic happens. No, I can't do, this is, see, this is, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna separate them. Cause I only have two Eileen Hildebrand books. I've had more than two, maybe I would. Cause all of her books look so good together, but I only have two. I have to let, I have to let go. We have the comeback, City of Girls, We Are the Lights, A Lady's Guide to Selling Out, the Swans of Fifth Avenue, Bear Town, Boardwalk Summer, and Sailing Lessons. And then The Immortalists, The Lost Apothecary, Apothecary can never say that, um, and Wish You Were Here, and Conversations with Friends. And then we have Colleen Hoover. All of these are romance, so I'll just kind of put that stack next to the romance. So I actually feel pretty good about this. It's all organized by genre now, as you can see in these stacks here. This is newer, trendier fiction. I have no idea really how to say that. Older, more deep fiction. We have thrillers, hardcover thrillers, softcover thrillers, classics, Colleen Hoover, and romance and fantasy. This is actually the most organized it's really ever been by genre. Okay, now comes the dreaded part where I put them all back. I think, I know I said I didn't want to color code, but I think by genre, I just want it to look aesthetically, like I want it to make sense color-wise, so. I don't want to do this. I'm going to do what I did last time and start with the thrillers. So maybe like half the thrillers here and half of them here. And then we do the same thing with like the soft cover. Something like that. Great, great. I haven't a clue. I haven't a clue. I'm regretting this already. So I guess let's do romance. I feel like books like like The Last Song, The Time Traveler's Wife, Me Before You, Best The Best of Me, like Nicholas Sparks, Dear John. I see these in their own thing. Well also because I have three three of the same author here. So this is like one little thing. I'm not sure what we do with that yet. The two Christina Lauren books. I think I might put Where the Crawdads Sing in this pile. That makes sense to me, dramaturgically. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Okay. Our Colleen Hoover and Nicholas Sparks, but maybe I just do like this. Oops. Like I'm liking this, but it needs like it needs one more book here. Is there anything that could be a romance? Anyone? Maybe we do conversations with friends. Is conversations with friends a romance? I don't think so. I don't like the way this looks at all. I don't like it. I'm gonna come back to that. I feel like next I'll do newer fiction. Yeah. Which are basically like all a lot of hardcover. Okay, okay. Here. We have our Taylor Jenkins Reid books next to each other. These do not go. I feel like I'm just gonna put these here. I'm sure that's a romance. I'm sure there's something romantic in those books, right? <laughs> Done. Definitely need a new spot for that. Okay, okay. I think I'm gonna do fantasy here. Okay, and then we just have classics and like more serious fiction. Yeah, yeah. okay. And that's it? Okay, well, I wasn't expecting to have this much room. Journals here. Okay. Actually, like, have room. Wow. I was not expecting this. Okay. Okay. So basically, now I just have to put this somewhere else and put this because this is a biography. So put this up here. Now this looks a little lopsided, but I'm just going to deal with it because it's like all of my Judy biographies, all of my other biographies, and then Jean-Luc's biographies. It just makes sense, I think. Yeah, there's not really any space up here. Okay, so I finished. I'm not going to lie, that went so much more smoothly and easier than I thought it would. I have so much more space than I thought I would. I guess which makes sense because I, I did kind of move a pretty big chunk of things into our office storage so i feel like i have like a little space for new books which is something that i've not had in a very long time so let me kind of give you like the lowdown of what's going on up here up here i still don't really know what's going on with this lighting i still don't really know what's going on with this record player situation or what we're gonna do uh we do have two record players this one doesn't really work anymore but it just looks so good and this one works so so we have our records kind of stacked here they used to be stacked horizontally but apparently that's bad for the records over time so we flipped them this way and then to keep them up I put some thrillers. So I put like half my hard covers and half my soft covers on each side. Um, I might kind of feng shui the order at a later date. We have, I have some questions for you, all the dangerous things, flicker in the dark, house across the lake, hunting party, last Mrs. parish, rock, paper, scissors, and who is Maud Dixon over here. And then over here, we have the Paris apartment, you're invited, Daisy Darker, reckless girls, Girl A, Silent Patient, Luckiest Girl Alive and the Wife Between Us. I know that I think I have two Lucy Foley books and two Alice Finney books, so that might be something that I just kind of put them next to each other. But I don't feel like doing that now. It looks fine. <laughs> and then, like I said, on this shelf, I have all of my drama and theater books, which were just organized so perfectly already, so I did not touch them. But so you guys can see, I have my like anthology, so I have like a big Shakespeare, like complete works of William Shakespeare my Norton anthology of drama books and like just like collections of plays and I have my like standalone plays here which are like kind of organized by color-ish then I have these Italian and German theater books and then I have my Samuel French organized by color and then just like some greeting cards and stuff like playbills and stuff that I shove back there 
so now kind of getting to what I did today down here, which was the Lord's work, honestly. So here we have all of our romance books. I kind of organized by author here. I have my five Colleen Hoover books, which I read a lot more than that, but a lot I've given away or just read on my Kindle on Libby. So right now I only have five. I just threw these two summary looking books in the middle here just because I needed two more books and it looked like a nice visual transition between Colleen Hoover and Nicholas Sparks. I actually don't know if they're about romance because I've never read them yet, just don't tell anyone. So I have this kind of romance by author here, and then I just have like regular romance. So like our Christine and Lauren books are over here, 28 Summers, Every Summer After, People We Meet on Vacation, Where the Crawdads Sing, Me Before You, Conversations with Friends, which is arguably not a romance, but there are romantic elements, so we're gonna go with it. The Time Traveler's Wife, Bodyguard, and The Love Hypothesis. Um, and then here we have our fantasy books. I don't have that many. I'm not a huge fantasy reader, although I want to eventually get more into that genre. I haven't even read like most of these books on my shelf. So I have Dune, which I have not read yet, and I tried to watch the movie and it was a challenge for me. Court of Thorns and Roses is very high on my TBR. I think I want to do like a video like just dedicated to me either reading this first book or the entire series, not sure yet. The House of the Cerulean Sea, which I also have not read yet, but a lot of people really recommend it and it's not as like intense like world building fantasy it doesn't seem like so might go with that legends and lattes what a fave i love this book it's like light light low stakes fantasy darling girl didn't really like this book it was like a peter pan spin-off i guess and i love peter pan i played wendy darling when i was in middle school this book just didn't do it for me i have high expectations for my pan spin-offs and this did not cut it sorry and then of course the invisible life of Addie LaRue, which is also very high on my TBR list, and I'm excited to read that one. Moving on to our sort of like newer fiction books. So we have Bear Town, The Swans of Fifth Avenue, Wish You Were Here, Lost Epoch Theory, The Immortalist, Queen of Thieves, Daisy Jones and the Six, Carrie Soto's Back, Mame, Touch, the Ladies Guide to Selling Out, When We Lost Our Heads, The Comeback, The Magnolia Palace, We Are the Light, The Hotel Nantucket, All the Dies Dreaming, City of Girls. And look, it all fits. And I feel like I have I have some room here, maybe even like here for some stuff. So that's really exciting. And then down here, here we have our classics. So we have The Great Gatsby, The Color Purple, Little Women, Slaughterhouse-Five, Alchemist, Gone with the Wind, To Kill a Mockingbird. And then we have kind of more like fiction, but it's not as like cute. After you read one of these books, you really feel like you've accomplished something. Like if you read any of these fiction books, it's just kind of like... I read a book and it was really good. But if you read any of these fiction books, it's like, oh, like I used, I used more of my brain cells. That looks better. So actually we have the Lehman Trilogy, The Wild Game, Sharp Objects, Play It As It Lays, Three Women, The Unbearable Lightness of Being, Morris, Evicted, Finding Dorothy, A Little Life, Wicked, Confessions of an Ugly Stepsister, and The Secret History. So yeah, I do have to read quite a few books in the using my brain cells category. Yeah, like these I have not really touched that much. I move some of my theater books down here. I move Jean-Luc's diaries down here or journals down here. I kept kind of the nonfiction up here and the self-help down here. And that's kind of it for, for this bookshelf. Um, and then this bookshelf, as I've kind of showed as I've gone here, is just pretty much biographies. I don't feel the need to explain this again. I feel like I did during this video. Yeah, and then we have like some room for something up here perhaps to balance out, but I also don't want to like crowd it. I don't know. I feel pretty good about it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this, coming along with me. Doing stuff like this is, it's hard to find the motivation to do it. So doing it with you guys makes it a lot more fun. Yeah, I was actually like, Kind of surprised at how easy this was i think because i had already recently organized the bookshelf so it was really just a matter of organizing like a few little sections and making some more space and i'm really really happy with how much space i have for new books which is not that much but like there's some space usually it's like overflowing and like i don't have room for what i actually have now so or like the book that i'm currently reading i'm like i have no idea where i'm gonna put it and i have like an idea of where i'm gonna put it when i'm done with it so that's exciting stay tuned um i should have my may reading wrap up uploaded this friday and i know a lot of you guys have been enjoying my reading vlogs so 
maybe the following week I will just kind of upload two reading vlogs depending on two reading vlogs might be a lot maybe one reading vlog and something else if you have any requests for videos you want to see from me feel free to comment below i hope you have a fabulous week and happy summer and um yeah i'll see you guys in the next one